In this video, we will learn how to change the mechanical action of a Boolean object. Boolean controls have six types of mechanical action that allow us to customize Boolean objects to create front panel windows that more closely resemble the behavior of physical instruments. Note, when we assign a keyboard shortcut to the mechanical action of a Boolean control, the keyboard toggles the value. Let's create a stop button to see if the loop is iterating based on firing of events. Let's create a indicator. Let's create a event structure. Let's place it inside so that it can be read and let's create another one for stopping the loop. For example, when we assign a keyboard shortcut to a boolean control and set the keyboard shortcut to one of the latching mechanical actions, the button latches when read. So let's run the VI. Let's press the shortcut key I assigned earlier, Control shift f1, Control shift f1, Control shift f1. So as soon I press the key, the button latches, it is read by the code over here and it latches back and the loop iterates showing an increment in this numeric control indicator. Follow these steps to change the mechanical action of a boolean control. Add a boolean control such as a push button to the front panel window. Right click the boolean control and select properties from the shortcut menu to display the boolean properties dialog box. Click the operation tab of the boolean properties dialog box. We can select a button behavior appropriate to the application from the button behavior list. An explanation of the behavior appears in the behavior explanation section. We can test the selected behavior in the preview selected behavior section. In the icons that appear in the behavior explanation section, M represents the motion of the mouse button when we operate the control, V represents the output value of the control and RD 
represents the point in time the VI reads the control. Please note that we cannot use any latch action for object with a local variable. Boolean latch action is incompatible with the local variables. If a Boolean control has associated local variables, it cannot use latch mechanical action. The first local variable to read a Boolean control with latch action would reset its value to the default. If we configure our Boolean value with a latching mechanical action, the value property and value signaling, signaling property return an error when the VI is in a non-idle state such as when the VI is running or reserved to run. Due to race conditions that can occur when we have a boolean value with latching mechanical action, we cannot programmatically read boolean values that are set with the latching mechanical action. So let's run the VI and the error box has appeared stating that when a boolean control has a latch mechanical action, you cannot use the value property to read or write its value, property name value. When a boolean control has a latch mechanical action, you cannot use the value property to read or write its value, property name value signaling.